Hey everybody, Curse is here with some more Stormfall Saga of Survival. So, people have asked uh, more than a few times, you know, where do you get brimstone? Where does it drop? How can I get a lot of it? You know, considering a lot of it, like, you know, like, like this, you know, like all these uh, lovely stacks of uh, brimstone right here, like, like all these lovely stacks, like, like, you, you, you would, would you like some of these stacks right here? Hmm? Hmm? Would, you, would you guys like some of these stacks right here? Oops. <laughs> I bet you would, but you can't have them. Because PvP's not in the game anyway, right now. So, where do we get Brimstone? Where does it drop? And where do I go? Well, it actually drops in quite a lot of places. First of all, Dark Woods right here drops right there in the Dark Woods. Chieftain Stronghold, it definitely drops in Chieftain Stronghold. It's not listed on the possible loot, but it is there. Cursed Forest, it's not listed on the possible loot, but it is there. Next, Rocky Spires, it is definitely there. It is listed, specifically. The uh, Raiders Hideouts, it is there. And uh, let's see here, uh, Rocky Spires are recovered. I believe Woodlands, too. Yes, Woodlands, too. Woodlands do drop it. But, of course, now the one place that you're almost guaranteed, and I do say almost guaranteed because sometimes you don't get it, but sometimes you do do more often than not, that you will get it, is in a dungeon. Yes. Now, it's listed right here as a drop in the dungeon. And it is because the catacomb itself has increased loot tables for every uh, container in there, you will get it more often. Now, just as a uh, side note, for in the woodlands and, you know, every other uh, place outside, the brimstone will only drop from trunks or better. They won't drop from normal chests. Not normally. I, I don't think I've seen them drop from a normal chest except inside the catacomb. But, uh... But yeah, trunks or better, they will drop out of outside the catacomb. So we're... First, we're just gonna... We're gonna take a jump into this catacomb here. Damn walkers. You have a key for me? No. That's okay. I brought keys anyway. Excellent. Oh, you have a key for me? I'll take it. And I'll kill you. And, of course, uh, they're actually Brimstone does drop over here as well. There's uh, these uh, goblins right here. And Brimstone does actually drop from these three containers right here. And I'll take that. So we're going to open these up, see if any Brimstone drops. But it, see, boom, there's some Brimstone right here. Very good, right? Uh, I'll take these am empty amulets too. I actually need more of those because uh, I've been making pyromancer rings, and well, they're uh, they're very useful. But anyways, well, I'll show you how much brimstone you can probably expect to walk out of a catacomb with. So we're gonna jump in and uh, get to this catacomb run, eh? So, like I said, you're going to want to raid every container you can find because the brimstone is going to be in most containers in the catacomb here. Mmm, delicious water. Thank you. And then we'll kill this guy. Thank you. Have a nice day. The brimstone won't be in any of the structure. Uh, chests, so like the uh, the, ca the campfire here, the reliquaries, and the uh, 
the forge. It's not it's not gonna be in any of those. I wanna take this cheese though, that's a lot of cheese. And usually I don't see brimstone drop. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. Okay, well, let's kill this guy now. Do, 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 you dead. Okay. And nothing. Oop. We're gonna go get the glowing chest uh, so I can drop my keys on it. Speaking of keys, okay. So let's go ahead and open this up. Sixteen hay, holy shit, that's really good. I need it. I, I need hay <laughs> because I have a horse, and my horse requires hay. He just likes to eat the hay, you know. Oh, my crossbow broke. All right, there we go. Yeah, all right. So always check these guys. Uh, you should uh, collect up the, uh, the the tobacco pouches that these guys drop too, because you are gonna need them for some upgrades. Damn you. Anyway. Oh, another key. Like, you will need these for upgrades, but uh, I have a lot at my house anyway, so I really don't need to grab them or anything. And you? Nope. Okay. Now, of course, you know, Catacomb Run does take a while. So you just have to uh, bear with the uh, the run here, but you will see like brimstone drop from most of the like from some unlikely uh, sources in here. So like boom, right here in a regular chest, four brimstone, boom, and a copper bar. A copper bar is nice too. One second. And then we'll open this up here because it always has like healing stuff and food, water, and all that good stuff. Or at least most reliquaries do. Like this has water. Oh no. And like I said before, you can always just take a hit from one of those guys. Oops. Oh well. Uh, let me uh, put this right here, though. Okay. Follow me, Mr. Bone Breaker. Follow me. You and your buddy here. Both of you, follow me. Come on. There we go. I took more hits than was necessary, actually. But uh, but you get the idea on how to uh, like avoid having to fight the Bone Breakers. Uh, now, normally, this chest doesn't really drop anything but scrolls. Uh, but scrolls are important, so... You know. Like, level 2 scrolls and all that, that jazz. So, you know, this is the good spot to get scrolls you need. Except, like I said, this just drops scrolls for the most part. But these are all shitty scrolls. Like, I have most of the Barbarian set upgraded. Ugh. But maybe I got something I need. Oh, I did. I did get something I needed. Uh, one of the barbarian pieces. I can upgrade the helmet. Excellent. So after I get the boots upgraded, which I just need one more. And by the way, note to the developer too. Uh, instead of uh, you know just having this uh, three out of four, uh, make it so you can see what scroll you need. Because I know there's... You know, there's Barbarian Boots Scroll 1, Barbarian scroll, scroll 2, Scroll 3, Scroll 4. You know, make it make it a list so you know which scroll it is you actually need. 
Because, like, I, I don't know which scroll I need. I have three out of four, but which one do I need? You know? But uh, I'll be able to make a, uh, a one-star set of the Barbarian Armor, which is pretty amazing, seeing as, like, yeah, like, each piece has, like, 60, more dur 60 or 70 more durability per piece, and that's pretty awesome. Anyways... And, uh, and then, by the way, in the dungeon... Oh, my God. Two keys. The dungeon is the best place to get Undead Essence as walkers drop a ton of it. But I already have a ton of it in my house, so I don't need to collect any more at this time. Like, it's just a waste of space for me. And, uh... I'll take the cheese, though. More che like cheesecloth is a, a pretty crucial uh, item, and we'll see what's inside the uh, inside the forge here. The, this forge can drop a lot of uh, a lot of clay brick if you're lucky. If not, you can get a couple of iron bars or a couple of clay bricks. But for the most part, though, I have gotten a lot of clay brick out of this before. Three, three is about an average number. For clay brick in here um actually no this is almost broken so i'm just gonna drop it boom okay wasting a few charges on a an upgraded uh axe is fine and here's a regular chest which by the way i am reminded that there is one other uh trunk i didn't grab that I'll just go around on it to grab uh, nothing out of here so we're gonna go back this way because they removed a couple of chests that used to be that way come on stop stop moving oh right okay there we go that really missed there we go walkers are really weird about their uh, detection radius on you like it's it's it feels like it's really long but then sometimes uh, they'll they'll stop Ooh, very nice um, what do I drop for this I don't want to drop a key keys are good this is almost dead too like and I have a ton of iron at home so I can make a new new pickaxe anyway Stop, bastard. And like I said before too, if you have a weapon that can two shot the zombies, if you can get as far away from them as you can, they won't get a hit on you before, uh, before you kill them. Speaking of dead, here's a nice uh, big old bone breaker. And because I'm wearing a uh, barbarian set, he doesn't do that much damage. Anyway, um, okay, nothing good here from him. And I can just equip that. And here we go. There's one more trunk here. And which means I have another chance to get some more, uh, some more brimstone. But we'll see what's in this first. Ooh, yeah, I'll take the belts. Belts are expen a little expensive on material, so you should always uh, pick them up when you see them. And drop my curse points a little bit. 
So to get to that other trunk, it's better to avoid the other enemies and just go all the way around. Like so. Because there's a bone breaker guarding this one too, so. Ooh. What? Whatever. Anyway. Ah, oh, come on, don't tell me the other spider is like right next to him. I like to get the double shots in when I can. And you're dead. Okay. And nothing there for him. There's two more chests right here. There's a small chest which could drop more brimstone. And then there's a trunk which could also drop more brimstone. But, like, I, the point of the video, though, is here is that I am showing that the catacomb here has the best chance of dropping brimstone. And I don't need the. I have, like, a ton of these right now, and I don't need those. I don't have my horse, so, you know, I'm, I can always come back later and get this stuff. Especially since this is going to take a day and a half or two days to respawn, I, for, I think. Mm. Uh, fresh herbs. Uh, belts are good. Heavy boots, I'll take that. All right, uh, let's see. Empty barrels are expensive on material, so... I will store this right here for now, and I'll take the empty barrel with me. I can like always just come back for the empty barrel. Well, I'll just I'll take this instead, and we're good. But yes, so you see, I got five brimstone from one catacomb run. I would say that's maybe average to below average. I mean, it's not necessarily. Uh, like I would say it's more average but it's definitely not definitely not bad and there's this barrel right here there's one more barrel up there but barrels don't drop the brimstone they just drop cheese and uh, potions and stuff which are what I'm going for here and I got 20 cheese right and I got a full stack of cheese so we're good so we're gonna go back this way and then we're just going to go up here, grab the, the water skins that were in this barrel over here, and drink them. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Uh, so, I mean, that's it. That, this, that's where you get brimstone. You know, I listed all the places on the map that have it, and definitely do drop it. I told you, just as a reminder, that it in, in the overworld, not in the dungeon... In the overworld, the brimstone will drop more likely from trunks, which are, hold on, you know, just as a reminder. <laughs> it will more likely, in the overworld, in nature, out in the great nature, it will likely drop out of trunks, which are these right here. These ones right here. Oh, I didn't open this one. What the hell? I could have swore I opened this one. But okay, I guess I missed this. Like, I, I bet you you're watching the video the whole time. Like, hey, dummy, you totally missed this trunk. But, uh, ooh, nice. And Cruel Bludgeon, I already have that upgraded. Um, I can come back for that. Okay. But anyways, uh, it'll more likely drop out of the trunks. I don't recall seeing it drop out of smaller chests. But it's possible, I guess. But it does drop out of the small chests and the trunks in the catacomb. Which the catacomb is the one that you want to get it out of the most. And like I said, Curse Forest, Woodlands, Raiders Hideouts, Chieftains Strongholds, Dark Woods, and Rocky Spires all have the, the trunks in those locations have the chance to drop you the brimstone. But of course, I, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it drops out of the small chests, but I could be wrong. But that is it for this episode, guys. 
thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you to understand where to go to get the brimstone. And, uh, you know, if, if this helped you out, make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my Beholder uh, Let's Play series. And, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.